Gorgeous boy. Hello. <laughs> How about the naps? I love naps. <laughs> Do you love naps, Baba? Do you love naps? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Jed and I are just going up for a little walk to the shops to take some clothes to donate. It's quite a nice day, actually. It's about, I think it's the 4th of July. It is quite cold in Sydney at the moment. Can't wait till spring, but we've still got two months of winter, don't we, Jed? Oh dear. I try to get out for a walk at least once a day. We're really lucky where we live at the moment is close to shops and parks and things. It just keeps you kind of feeling connected and not all alone. I'm just looking behind me because this is the first time I've vlogged in public and I feel a little bit special and there's no one around me. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to record a little introduction. I've recorded a nursery tour video and I haven't done an introduction. So this is the introduction. Let's give you a quick shot of Jetty. Hi Jetty. How much you just the cutest? You are. <laughs> Are you going to give us a smile? Hi hey, darling. No ma'am. Not today. <laughs> You'll have to forgive the lighting. It is late afternoon here so it might be a little bit iffy but we'll persevere. So we'll start down here. This is a play mat that I bought from Mama Mats. I'm really happy with it. Jed will often just play on that when I'm putting away laundry and that type of thing. Over here, I'm just keeping this wooden play gym that I got off a shop on Etsy. I'm using this just as a spare upstairs, which does come in handy. Over here, we have just Jed's bassinet, which he outgrew when he was three months old, or he just about outgrew. I'm pretty much keeping it in, in here because I am could not cope emotionally with packing it away, basically. Underneath, First of all, the heater is because it's winter in Australia at the moment and very cold, so we need that for night feeds. Down here I have a basket of cloth nappies. We don't use them for cloth nappies, but we use them for the change table and that type of thing. And then in this basket over here, I put clothes that he's outgrown, and then from there I'll take them downstairs and pack them and we'll pack them away in some plastic crates for things that we want to keep. Over here I have a simple storage cube that I got from Kmart and I just keep obviously some books. Down here I have bibs. In here a few little toys should he be playing upstairs although he has another uh, big box downstairs with books and toys. This very cute little hat by Chuckles and Kaz. I can't wait till he can fit that. This beautiful picture that my husband took for Mother's Day for me. And over here I have a an aromatherapy diffuser. This one is by Aroma Bloom. It puts out a really good dim light for night feeding and I am always diffusing lavender through that especially at night time for his last feed and after baths when we're changing him before bed. So over here in the corner I have my feeding chair. This chair is from Ikea. It's very comfortable. I'm really happy with it. I do always have a blanket thrown across the back of it just because the texture of this weave isn't so comfortable on bare skin. But apart from that, it's a really good chair. I'm happy with it. For breastfeeding, I just use the, a U-shaped pillow, and this is a cute little, um, a cute little, what do you call it, crochet rug that I found at some markets a few years ago. 
just going to open the window a bit to try and let some more light into the room. Okay, so then over here next to where I feed, I keep a couple of things that I might need. So down here we have the teething gel, which I think is going well so far. And I just have this cute little ceramic bunny. I love bunnies that I put his dummy on while I'm feeding. Uh, over here we just keep this basket. A friend gave this to me with some gifts in it for my baby shower. This bear is a flat out bear. I love these. He's really taken a shine to it over the past week or so. It's really cute to see him hugging a little little bear. This is his change table. So we just keep it on top of the, the Ikea chest of drawers. We have a waterproof cover on top of this but I don't want to be washing it all the time so I keep one of these disposable sheets on top of it and I just got these in bulk off eBay. And then on top of that I keep a couple of cloth nappies so we just chuck those in the wash as needed. So I'll show you inside the drawers now and how I've organized everything. I've used Ikea's little storage compartments and they are amazing for, for organizing everything. So over here we have wipes, then we've got nappies, products um, like, um, what do you call it, nappy rash cream, I've got this edible bubba, that's nappy, nappy rash cream as well baby oil, socks over here and in this one we keep his onesies just rolled up like this so you can easily see what's there and in the back we've got hats. Over in the second drawer is where, where I keep the majority of his clothes. Now it doesn't look like a lot but what I'm doing is as he outgrows things I take it out otherwise it would just be confusing and I don't keep things in here that he's not yet grown into. So at the back here, we've got more bibs. We've got bodysuits with sleeves. We've got leggings. We've got warm pants, jeans, and we've got singlets. Um, and that is a, um, a swaddle. And I've just used a label maker and I'll change over those labels like in summer when he doesn't need pants and whatnot. I'll change it over to shorts and whatever else he needs. And then in the bottom drawer is where I keep heavy items. And I do that so that the chest of drawers is nice and weighed down. I only keep the lighter things at the top. In here I have a box of swaddles which we're not using anymore spare products at the back, spare wipes, um, disposable uh, nursing pads, what are these, bin um, nappy sacks, spare change table, wipe, um, you know, disposal thingies. So that's the drawer. Uh, in the corner there, we just have a basic white pail for nappies, not using anything fancy at the moment. And then in the wardrobe here, so in this compartment here, I've got his clothes that he doesn't yet fit into. So there's a few different bags in here. This one here is for six to 12 months winter clothes. I'll have to stick that on again. But yeah, so I keep things in there that he's yet to fit into and I'll move them into the drawers when he's ready. And then I've just got some hanging items in here. To organize this space, I purchased a printable, sorry, printable little hanger, hanger signs. I'm not really sure what you call them, but so we've got newborn, three months, uh, six months, and so on. So he's hanging things there. And then at the back, at the moment, I've just got some. 
um, sleeping bags that he will be using once he's rolling both ways. This one is really cute little penguin that I got from Cotton On. It's got little flippers at the back. So, oh, and then down here we've got, in here I've got some cloth nappies. We are not using cloth nappies. I thought I was going to be, but it hasn't worked out that way. But we are finding that these have been handy for, um, he's in the middle of nappy sizes. So these handy for putting over the top of the disposable to stop leaks. And the Peapods brand is my favorite. If you are looking into cloth, cloth nappying, this would be my pick. They have this adjustable strap on the inside of the legs and you just move this strap. It works like a bra strap. It's on medium at the moment. You move it as your baby grows and it tightens or, you know, um, it, it widens the, the space of the leg. And then you have these buttons which you move further out as your baby grows. So it's like literally a one size fits all that can stay with your baby. I might give cloth diapering, nappying a go later on, but at the moment it's, it's a little bit too much. Some shoes. So that is the tour of the baby room complete. Um, so I just want to show you quickly where he's actually sleeping at the moment, which is in our room. Now I haven't really tidied or done anything in here. It's very basic, but so this is his cot and this is his little comforter that I'm introducing him to at the moment. It's very cute. It's got a little teething ring on there and that's pretty much yeah that's pretty much where he's sleeping at the moment and then over here i'll show you we've got a stack of books which are from the library the library has been our friend we read to him every night before sleep and this just means we don't we're not reading the same books over and over again these are the swaddles that he's using at the moment while he's not rolling both ways yet this is the love to dream we always get him ready sorry we we change and feed him in his room which is right there and then we'll come in read him a story and um we've got the block out curtains in our room here which is great for napping in the day and then he sleeps over here we've got our ipad which is for the white noise this lovely little duck thermometer which tells us how many layers of blankets we need to put on him and then we've got over here the microwavable wheat bag because temps are getting down pretty low at the moment and then we'll put that in his bed in the middle of the night while I'm feeding him so it's not super chilly when he gets back into bed. So that really does complete the, the tour of the rooms. I hope you enjoyed this and that you got a couple of little tips from it.